Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to explain how to design an accordion bus. Have you ever wondered how an accordion bus works? What holds it together? Or how it spins around whenever it makes a wide turn? Today, I'm gonna to explain how all that works. But first, let me give you some background information. Did you know accordion buses typically are up to 60 feet? Did you know that companies began production in the US during the 1970s? It took nearly 30 years to produce the first successful accordion bus, which was not ready for use until 1996. This bus was known as the New Flyer Industries D60HF, which operated under MTA Bus Company, which was the result of taking over private bus lines back in 2005. And MTA New York City Transit, or MTA New York City Bus, which operates in the city of New York. More recently, they were replaced by the Nova Bus LFS Arctic buses. The key assembly parts you'll need are stainless steel tubes, which are welded and supports the frame of the bus, floor panels, copper piping, electrical wiring, and heating system. The copper piping connects to the heating system. The electrical wiring, the electrical wiring can make sure the bus can operate properly and the heating system makes sure that passengers are warm during the cold season. The compressed air tanks control the brakes and the opening and closing of the doors as seen as shown here. The back section of the bus now gets connected to the front using an articulated joint as shown in this slide. The final key assembly parts are a diesel fuel engine, windows, doors, steering wheel, accelerator, brakes, and the ADA accessible wheelchair ramp. And now the bus is ready for passenger service. But I wanna quickly um, actually give a shout out to one of my best friends who I known for like about three years who is a transit friend who is a transit fan and friends of mine and his name his name is Kalel and he made this review of the 1996 to 1998 new flyer d60hf review which is where i got some of my sources from so i want to give him a big shout out and i'm going to play a little bit of his video take take a listen so, we're back. After all these months, I have returned to make this next review. So this bus is a bus that I'm pretty sure we all know and we all love to this day because it made a huge impact on New York City Transit in a huge monster way. As the first articulated bus owner of New York City Transit, without further ado, this is the review. 96 to 90. These are the 1996 to 98 New Flyer D60HFs. The first New Flyer D60HFs and the very first successful articulated bus order of New York City Transit. Now their fleet numbers range from 10,000 to 1109.
Okay, that was a little bit of a sample of of his review. I'm not going to play the whole video so I don't get copyrighted. And he said I could give him a shout out. And as long as I give him permission, he should let me use it, some of his clips. Anyways, that was my presentation of how accordion buses, or, or as the transit term, articulated buses are made. See you next time, folks. Until next time, transit fans.